Hi, my name is Brandy and I'm with HomePro. This is part three of our electrical troubleshooting series for the Windsor Sensor Vacuum. If full power is reaching the bottom of the bag housing, we'll need to move on to the power head to test further. To remove the power head cover, remove the screws from the bottom side of the chassis. Depending on the model, your machine will have between two and five screws. Once a power head cover is removed, reinstall the bag housing onto the power head. We'll start by testing power coming into the power supply board from the swivel net. If you're working with the sensor S, test voltage on the black and white wires coming in from the swivel neck assembly. Now, if you're working on the sensor XP, there will be two blue wires. If your multi-tester shows a voltage loss at this point, you'll likely need to replace the swivel neck wire. You may need to move the swivel neck up and down at this point to check for intermittent loss. If you're reading full voltage going into the power supply board, we'll need to move deeper into the power head. For further information, please view our Mel contact holder replacement video. Check power to the PC controller board by turning the power switch on and off. If you see the indicator lights blink on the board, that's usually a pretty good indication that you're getting power there. If no lights blink, you likely have a bad power supply board, PC control board, or ribbon cable connecting the two. For further assistance, please see our PC control board replacement video. Unfortunately, it's pretty difficult to test the PC controller board. A part swap will be the best way of rolling out the PC board. If you don't have access to a PC board, either from another working vacuum or spare part, let's roll out all the other possibilities before you order a new part. You will want to take some time to inspect all wiring within the power head for possible damage. If you notice any pinched, cut, melted, blackened, stripped, or otherwise damaged wires or connectors, Take the time right now to replace them. To test a vacuum motor for proper function, simply run power directly to it, bypassing all of the other electrical components within the power head. Using a power cord with male terminal connectors, we can plug this motor directly into an electrical outlet to test it. If the motor runs with direct power, we can roll this out as our culprit. If it doesn't, you'll likely be replacing the vacuum motor or at least the carbon brushes. Check out our carbon brush replacement video or motor replacement videos for further information. If the vacuum motor functions properly and the PC board checks out, you're left with basically one last possibility, the power supply board. If you notice any burnt connections, burnt soldering points, or signs of arcing, that's usually a good indicator that the power supply board is bad. A bad power supply board may not always be visible to the eye. Sometimes you will simply need to change the part to properly diagnose the problem. A power supply will go bad if there is increased resistance in the flow of electricity combined with an increase in amperage. You'll want to inspect the power cord and other electrical connections for damage or wear before replacing the power supply board. This removes the risk of burning out another board. Please see the power supply board replacement video for further instruction. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to see additional helpful videos or get more information, please visit our website at homeprovacuum.com.